is what makes Floyd Mayweather so effective? I, I mean, I've been around Floyd all, all, you know, all his life. I'm way, I'm way older than him, but I was with Floyd in the 84 Olympics with Zab and Ryan, Zaire Raheem, and they was all three hanging out together. Them three used to hang out every day. You know, Zab is, is my son, and then Floyd is really tight. Uh, even after the fight, after the fight, it was still tight. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But uh, what makes Floyd so effective is his training methods. He, you know, I mean, I've been around a lot of fighters, a lot of trainers. Nobody trains like this guy. This guy trains like a, like an animal. He trains like, like I mean, he got weird hours. His hours is like four in the morning, one o'clock. He came, came to my gym, New York City. He came to my gym in Brooklyn. He, he got at my. He came to my gym at eleven thirty at night. Him and Fifty Cent and his whole crew. He left here at 4 o'clock in the morning. And all the time he was here, he didn't stop training. He was training the whole time. Wow, man. You know, so I think that's what his psych, his psych is a lot, a lot logical is that while the guy, his main support is sleeping, he's training. And that's his advantage in the ring. The guy didn't, the guy didn't do half the stuff that Floyd does. And I know that. Floyd trains, man. He trains. Man. I see him leave parties at 4 o'clock in the morning and go running. Go run, go run for like an hour, then leave, the, leave, leave, leave. It'd be 6 o'clock in the morning, and then he goes to the gym. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, I think that's his advantage right there. Yeah. Then why is Miguel Cotto a threat to him? I don't, I don't see Miguel a threat. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see him a threat at all. I see, I see Miguel going to get his ass whipped. That's what I see. <laughs> uh, yeah, truly, I see Miguel got a, Miguel got a, a, a stumbling Frankenstein fight, fight, I mean, style. He uh -huh. plots, he plots. He sets, he plots, he punches. Floyd's gonna be gone. Floyd's gonna tag him up and go. I think Floyd might even stop him on cuts. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, mean, I, I think Floyd's gonna be throwing wicked punches combinations. He's gonna be too quick. He's too swift. By the time Cotto sets, Floyd hit him three, four times, and Floyd's gone. But all him backing him up, if he think he keep thinking that he gonna Floyd gonna punch it out with him, never ever in life. Mm -hmm. Good. Floyd can Floyd know how to run a marathon. He can run a Floyd got very good legs. Mm -hmm. you know, he's not he's not gonna stand in front of Cotto for like two not, not even two seconds. He's gonna get his shots off and he's gone. Yeah. So you predict a stoppage or knockout? I think right now it, it, I think it's gonna be a kill either either he he stops Cotto on cuts mm -hmm. or he just beat him so bad where it's, 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 it's one sided. It's one sided. 